Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another Manchester United career mode episode. And in today's episode, we are going to be making our Premier League debut against Wolves. Then we got Tottenham and Nottingham Forest. And then we're going to end with the deadline day. So, hopefully, we can do some damage this episode. Pick up three out of three wins and start off Manchester United with a great start to the Premier League season. I'm excited, I hope you guys are as well. With that being said, let's get into the episode. All right, and before we get into some matches, this formation really didn't work out during the preseason. I've been thinking about switching it, but I don't know. I really wanted to make Coylan and Xerxes work up top. They just don't gel together. So I'm thinking we just do a classic 4-2-3-1, try and see if the team can settle with that. For the time being, I think we have Casemiro come in, but I'm not sure. We have Ericsson, we have Javi Guerra, the new signing. I think he could do really well next to Kobe Mainu, but we'll see. We'll see. And also, we are going to be signing a right winger before the season starts, maybe even two. It depends. Diallo can play anywhere across the top three, so he covers that depth. So momentarily, we're going to stay on the short list who I am looking at for that right wing position after i sort out some player instructions and player roles all right instructions are set and now for the right wing position i have two players in mind that i want to bring in number one adamola lockman from atalanta in italy this is a very very underrated player 89 acceleration 84 sprint speed 90 agility really really pacey player i love seeing that 85 attacking position 78 composure 85 reactions really good for a winger 85 ball control 87 dribbling 86 finishing this man is an absolute underrated beast and he also has five play styles on him dead ball incisive pass technical flair and first touch i'm pretty sure this is going to be the first signing that i make and possibly as a backup we are looking at pedro neto from wolves as well very pacey 89 acceleration 87 sprint speed 86 agility Decent finishing on him. Very good dribbling stats on him. Good crossing as well. Something that Lockman doesn't have. So two different types of players here. Lockman is more of a finisher. Pedro Neto more of a playmaker. He has two play styles on him. Rapid and quick step. So we'll, we'll see. I think I'm going to make an offer for Lockman right now. To start getting training plans on him. All right. And as Fabrizio would say, here we go. Adamola Lookman is in Manchester to pass his medical, his first handshakes with Eric Ten Hag. And I'm telling you, we are looking at a very, very underrated player here. This potentially be one of our players of the season. Welcome to Manchester United, Adamola Lookman. We hope for the best in your signing. And real quick, as I'm putting Lookman into the lineup, I noticed I haven't done anybody's training plans. So I'm going to do that quick and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. All right. And the instructions are set. Player tactics ready. Development plans done. We are going to hop in our first Premier League game against Wolverhampton. Here's the lineup. If you haven't seen it already, we're switching to a 4 2 3 1. Xerxes getting to start over Hoyland for now. How long that can last if Hoyland picks up form? If not, Xerxes is our top man. And Wolverhampton, we're also going to use this moment to scout Pedro Neto, a player that we're looking to sign. So hopefully he doesn't impress us, right? But hey, Wolves kicks off a Premier League action. Finally back here in England. Match day number one. Pedro Neto is on the ball now. A Manchester United transfer target. Whips it in. Casemiro clears that nicely. And Lenny Yoro, come on. Nice, Davies. What a tackle that was. Uh oh, come on, man. And we Chan makes it 1-0 early in this match after a very, very annoying rebound. Nice. Over to Bruno. Shot deflected. Nice, Bruno. Finds the look, man. Over to Xerxes. Xerxes tries to get a shot. Dawson manages to catch up and intercept. It's Neto versus Davies again. Passes it back. Oh, Cooks Davies. Whips it in. Come on, boys. It's Lenny Yoro now stepping up. Nice. Loto. Ah, oh, he's still on it. Onana out for a corner. 
Nice, got some Beetle heads that out. Ouch, Lookman now. What a turn. Using that pace. But come on, Lookman. On your debut. On match day one. If it's left, straight at the keeper. Come on. Nice, Casemiro. What a tackle. Casemiro still on it. What's Casemiro going to do? Is he going to take the shot? <laughs> and who would have thought Casemiro is our first goal scorer of the season? A man that didn't even have a place in the squad has now seemingly convinced me that he should be starting. Look at that run from Casemiro and a left-footed power strike into the bottom corner. What a beast, man. The five-time Champions League winner has shown his worth right before halftime. All right, ref blows his whistle, halftime, and it's 1-1 for Man United so far in a game that Wolves have been dominating in. They have 58% possession, but we have more shots than they do, but they are doing a bit better in passing, so we got to step it up. We got to wake up and take this win. Xerxes kicks off, second half underway, and I want to try to get Rashford involved here. Davies is on fire this match. I think they could link up nicely. Nice, Rashford. As I say that, Rashford drops one, drops another. Ah, and I tried to get the pass off for the assist, but it wasn't enough. That's the Semero. Ex-Barcelona man up against Davies. Passes that to Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto with Davies. Oh, he cooks him again. Licha misses his tackle, and Yoro steps up. Ooh, and the shot goes wide. It's Davies. What a Casemiro. What a Xerxes. Xerxes plays off Davies. Davies can use this piece. Davies is in the box. To Xerxes. Oh, shot deflected. And Casemiro cuts off Pedro Neto. Could be Maynu now. Intercepted by Doyle. Oh, and Maynu tries to recover it, but they end up playing it back. But Casemiro is there. Casemiro is the man on a mission right now. As Rashford takes it out wide. Rashford looking to regain form here this season. Rashford. Oh, very bad pass. Very bad. All right, 70th minute. We're going to make some subs. We're going to bring on Hoyland, Javi Guerra. Uh, we'll bring on Garnacho. Rashford uses this as a wake-up call. And we'll do Mason Mount as well. Garnacho. Oh, Garnacho intercepted. By Nelson Semedo, but Garnacho wins it back. But it will be a throw-in for them. Oh, Garnacho. Nice. Ooh. Garnacho hustling all over the field. He's just come on, but he can't get the decisive pass. Davies intercept. Javi Guerra to Mason Mount on his left. Saved by Jose Sa. And that's full time. One and one. Very unlucky result there. We should have walked away with the win, to be honest. Casemiro picking up man of the match. I agree with that. 9.8 rating. It was a great game from him. And this early in the season, we take on one of the big six away from home. Tottenham Hotspurs at their home grounds. There's going to be a massive three points this early in the season. We want nothing less than the W today. Let's hope the boys can pop out. Tottenham kicks off and Premier League action underway here. A massive Premier League match between two of the, the big six. Huming Sun against Dalot. Oh, Dalot tried to pressure. Huming Sun tries to get through. Lenny Yoro is there. Oh, Casemiro tries to play a long pass. It's inter intercepted by Kulevesky. Licha's there, though. The Butcher takes him out. We find Rashford. Oh, and Rashford can't get a pass through as Cuti Romero intercepts. Two very strong defenses in this match. Kulazeski. Licha trying to catch up. Onana oh, covers the near post. James Madison takes the corner. Nice, Rashford. Oh, it falls to Davies for them. Kulazeski. Lenny Yoro slides in immobile. Gets the shot off. Tottenham are cutting our attack short, man. Oh, no. Lenny Yoro gets beat. Immobile. No, what a save by Onana. Uh oh. Huming Sun now, and Onana is on fire this match. Lookman plays Rashford. Can this be the moment here? Rashford, let's go! Whips it around the keeper, Marcus Rashford. Making it 1-0. What a counter here from the boys. Marcus Rashford. Woo-ho-ho. Top bins, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we wanted to see. Davies wins it back. 
the Canadian superstar gets it over to Martinez. Toby Maynou. His pass is intercepted. Immobile is free. Martinez slides in beautifully. And Yoro gets it over to Dalla. Nice Dalla. Finds Lookman. Lookman, what's he going to do? He sees Rashford. Oh, and Rashford couldn't get his head on it. And the ref's going to blow his whistle. Full time. 1-0 to Manchester United so far. All right, Xerxes kicks off. The second half is underway, and I think we are playing a great match so far. They're, they are having a bit of uh, too much fun in the attacking play, but we need to just do a little bit better to control that. I think if we keep it up, we'll walk away with the victory here. As Kobe Mainu looks to make a pass forward, Lookman tries to beat Davies. It wasn't enough, but he intercepts it here. Cuts in on his right. Xerxes! No, oh, come on. Koiberg now. Oh my gosh, what a run from Kulevsky. Lissandro gets beat. Davies gets beat. Uh oh. Come on. Lenny Yoro's there. Oh my days. And the young Frenchman has conceded a penalty. Lenny Yoro, what are you doing, bro? Just completely close lines the Tottenham player there. And we pick up a yellow card as well. Come on. Immobile. There was no save in that. Onana stood no chance. He put that right in the top corner. And just like that, the game is back level 1-1. And come on, ref. Huming Sun just comes in with a very aggressive challenge. And we're going to make some subs. Xerxes is coming off for Adebayo. And Casemiro's coming off for Javi Guerra. 70th minute, we are going to make some more subs. I am going to... We're going to bring out Hoyland and play him kind of like a, a right forward. We'll give Luke Shaw some minutes, give Davies some rest. And Mason Mount will come on for Kobe Mainu. Nice. Della. Oh, Della's still on it. Running down that left flank. He's still on it. Nice. Rashford gets brought down. Raf. What are you talking about? Lenny Yoto. Nice. Della. Oh my gosh. Raf, come on. Enough is enough. Start giving out some cards. Thank you. Jeez, man. Mason Mount. Very good interception. Nice. We're on the rebound. Rashford on his left. Rashford. Let's go. Yes. 88th minute. Marcus Rashford gets his second. And the Manchester United youth product has made it 2-1 here. Adebayo turns it in, finds Rashford. Rashford on his weak foot, bangs it into the back of the net. What a goal there from Rashford. What a moment for him to recover some form. Our number 10 has finally arrived. Finds Coyland. Coyland to Adebayo. Adebayo tried to find Rashford, deflected off the defender. And the ref's going to blow his whistle full time. 2-1 Manchester United. My man of the match, Marcus Rashford. And that's who ends up getting man of the match this game. 8.8 .8 match rating. Excellent game from him. All right, we're playing a bit of a rotated squad for this match against Nottingham Forest. So we're going to play the highlights. So hopefully we can manage to pick up the three points in this match. All right, and Man United going to kick off. We're at Old Trafford at home, hopefully. We can get some good highlights going our way. Gonna start off with Casemiro. Finds Garnacho. Garnacho. Ah, come on. All right, Erickson. We're gonna play this short. Lenny Yoro. Nice. Boom. Ah, come on. Boyland. Garnacho. The shot is wide. Come on, Garnacho. Garnacho has been a, he's been a bit impressive. I'm not going to lie. The, the first couple of matches. He has very good uh, persistence on him. Come on. Edison. To Garnacho. Garnacho. Finds Casemiro. Over to Casemiro. Uh, are we still on it? What is this? What is this lighting, bro? 
Oh my god, that's horrendous. Luke Shaw. Hoyland. Oh, Bruno. Come on. Ah, and the ref's going to blow the whistle. We jump to the 90th minute, and it's nil, nil. We didn't get any other chances than that. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate, bro. Come on. All right, transfer deadline day, and we have a bit of work to do. We need to bring in another right winger, and we need to bring in center backs. Because if you look here, we have no backup center backs. So that's a problem. So we're looking to bring in at least two center backs and a right winger. And I know just who I want for the right wing. We're going to look at Pedro Neto. We're going to make an offer, see if Wolves accepts. All right, signing number one is done. Pedro Neto from Wolverhampton is here. He had a very good, impressive minutes against us in the first match. He cooked Davies on some of the plays, so they're going to have to sort that out in training. But here he is passing his medical. This could be a special player, a very good rotational player for us as well. Him and Luckman are going to be battling it out for that starting position. I can't wait to see how it goes. An A from the board, 35 mil. We nailed it right on the head of the board. We're very happy with that signing. And for center back... We wanted Jared Bronfweit, but Man City have sniped him from us. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. So we're going to have to look for some center backs. So I will be back in just a second after I do that. All right. So our first transfer target is very highly rated in Portugal. He will bring competition to the center back positions. Licha and Lenny Yodo might be worried about this. All right. Signing number one for our two defenders is none other than goncalo ignacio from sporting 50 million is what he is costing us he is going to bring some heavy competition to the center back positions there he is number five ignacio welcome to manchester united the portuguese men looking to follow in the steps of none other than cristiano ronaldo coming from sporting to manchester united a from the board love to see it all right with three hours remaining we look to make our final transfer signing for the season it's going to be another defender deadline dane has been pedro neto con carlo ignacio and now you're about to see our third signing after much scouting after many options i've considered we are going for las palmas defender mika marmol ex barcelona academy graduate this is one of a very, very highly rated center back in my eyes. I, I'm a Barcelona fan for those that don't know. I watched Mika Marmol break through the ranks and this kid is incredible. So hopefully he can do a very, very good job for us here at Manchester United. From Las Palmas, Las Palmas did not want to sell him. So we activated his release clause. The board give it an F, whatever. They do that always when it's a release clause. So it is what it is. And with that, deadline day comes to an end. A massive, massive day for Manchester United as they complete all their signings. Let's look at our transfer window completely. We started off with Lenny Yoro, the big, young French prospect. Joshua Zerxi, Alfonso Davies, the Canadian superstar. Javi Guerra, the young Spanish midfielder. Ademola Ruckman, very underrated Nigerian winger. Pedro Neto from Wolves, Inacio from Sporting, and Mika Marmol from Las Palmas. A very solid window, if you ask me. But yeah, I'm going to call the episode there. Thank you so much, everybody, for sticking around. I appreciate every single one of you. Let me know in the comments down below what place do you think Manchester United are going to finish this season. While you're there, leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Smash that subscribe button. Let's grow the channel together. While you're down in the description, hit that Discord link. Join the Discord. Let's talk gaming. Let's talk all things, whatever. It doesn't matter. Hit that Twitch link as well. Follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to grow the community there as well. Once again, I appreciate every single one of you. Everybody Everybody stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.